Hey folks, Todd Coburn here with your Aerospace Structure Series. This video is on fasteners, but we're going to focus on some other typical aerospace fasteners you might see. First one is an Army Navy bolt called an AN bolt. Whenever we encounter these kinds of bolts, we will get the allowables from this table here. Now you'll notice that we have shank information, we have uh, the shank area, we have a shank moment of inertia, and the allowable in pounds for shear and tension, and the moment allowable. Now if we want to evaluate whether a bolt is okay, let's say we have a, a 500 inch pound moment applied, then there's a couple ways we could evaluate that one would be calculate the stress based on the applied moment, MC over I, where C is just your uh, half your diameter, right? And I is the eye of the bolt, and then compare to your FTU. Another way is just to write a margin of safety on the moment allowable, called MU for M ultimate, divided by the moment minus one. That would be another more straightforward way of doing that. If we have only shear, we can write a margin of safety directly. Let's say we have 10,000 pounds of shear. We could write our margin of safety as the allowable for shear, 275 over 10000. Or we could calculate our stresses, which would be a waste of work because this works fine. However, same thing if we have only tension, we could write our margin of safety directly. But if we have a combination of both shear and tension, we're going to need to combine our margins of safety. We will need to calculate the shear stress ratio, which is whatever shear force you have on the bolt, divided by the allowable shear, the tension stress ratio, which is the uh, tension on the bolt divided by its ultimate allowable, and the stress ratio for bending, which is the moment divided by the moment allowable, or MU. We then combine, we take RB and RT, add those together, and we take RS, and we take those two values, and we go to our threaded, since this is a threaded fastener, our threaded fastener interaction curve, which looks like this, and write the margin of safety. You'll notice that the interaction curve is right here. You can write your margins of safety in the regular way by just plotting your RS uh, versus your RT and RB. Draw the line and it's that over this length. Or for these fasteners, if your margin of safety is between the 0.5 margin of safety and minus 0.2, then actually between here and here, then you can actually just read it off the curve. For example, if we have a 0 0.2, 0 0.8, that looks like that's about a, uh, let's see, this curve is 0.2, this one is 0.3, which means it looks like it's about a 0 0.32 margin of safety about equal to that, right? Okay, so that's how we deal with AN bolts. And this little note down at the bottom here just points out that AN bolts are called out by dash number. So an AN8, where that dash number 8 is the number of sixteenths, means it's an 8 sixteenths or a 1 half inch bolt. Okay? All right, the next kind of bolt we might run into is a uh, is an internal wrenching bolt. Hilox are a perfect example where you have a feature on the nut that's used to tighten that and also does a permanent, uh, permanently locks that in place, has a locking feature in that nut, uh, end of the nut then breaks off. These are the allowables and these are analyzed the same way as AN bolts. If we have a uh, aluminum bolt like these here, then this would be our allowable. And since it's a threaded fastener, we use the threaded fastener interaction equation again. There are actually countless other aerospace fasteners. A lot of times you can get uh, specs from the manufacturer uh, or you can uh, 
look in MMPDS, which will have uh, allowables tabulated for many of those common fasteners. Okay. So that's how we deal with non -aero, uh, with other aerospace fasteners. We've seen those uh, in lecture nine. We saw learned all about standard fasteners, fasteners that I call non aerospace fasteners. So far, we've learned about rivet strengths in lecture ten. We learned about lock bolts in lecture ten. We learned about uh, and we in this covered other aerospace bolts. Enjoy.